So, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to see the very basic uh, subject uh, about which Dr. Kent has given a very small but precise information in his lecture of homeopathic philosophy. Friends, this subject of simple substance has remained a very important topic which needs more understanding to get the depth of homeopathy. Homeopathic prescribing and having a confidence in the homeopathic system of medicines is dependent on the way we accept the principles, the way we get a faith, our faith is generated about our system of the medicine. And faith has got great importance for the practice of homeopathic system of the medicines because entire philosophy is based on the dynamic and supernatural powers. We have to start believing into the vital principle, something which is invisible. We have to start believing to all those phenomena which are inimical to the life and yet they have they are invisible and then we have to think about the sub things which are very uh, minute such a minute that uh, how it can affect the medicine the three aspects of learning all are based on the um, uh, things which is invisible for us. And until you have the faith and confidence generated on basis of the analogy and on the basis of understanding and on the basis of the logical applied mind, rationality is very important for the practice of homeopathy. Friends, when I was going through the Dr. Kent's view, my thought got integrated and why Dr. Kent had thinking on the simple substance, why he wanted to get deviated from the slight deviation from the Hennemanian vital principle. The Henneman had ultimately accepted the theory of the vital principle and it had made him controversial with this acceptance among the his medical professors, acceptance of the vital principle. This is very important understanding that we have to keep in mind. So if we want to have the clarity of the mind, the clarity of the mind and the faith, it is necessary thing for the understanding of homeopathic uh, philosophy. And then we have to think about the material, the body, the life. Life which is constituted in different ways, which has got the different understanding and every system of medicines have their own concept about the life, own concept about the physiology, own concept about the anatomy and we homeopaths also have our understanding for the life. And as we believe the vital principle to the basis of the life, we have to think about what is the substance that is there in the vital principle. And Dr. Kent wanted to explain and wanted to understand the substance that is held within the vital principle. And you may be aware that Dr. Kent was the, very much inspired by the Swedenborgian philosophy, where the vital and substantial informations are very information. Some subtle natures of the energy, some subtle nature of the invisible things, it is very important for the uh, Dr. Kane. Uh, uh, and with this background, he was practicing medicine and he got influenced with the Hennemanian way. This is very wonderful and very astonishing for uh, us that how Dr. Kane uh, was inspired to the. Um, uh, this, uh, uh, I feel that only because of his background of the Swedenborgian philosophy. Dr. Henneman, Dr. Sorry, Dr. Kane got attracted towards the Hennemanian constant uh, concept of the you know, homeopathy system of the medicine. Friends, 
what we talk about the simple substance let us go into the depth about its uh, chemistry about its physiology and what is physical structure substance are physical things that can be seen touched or measured this is a concept that we carry and simple substance that cannot be reduced to smaller chemical parts this it cannot be reduced to the beyond the atom beyond the atom so it cannot be reduced to the chemical part a homologous substance composed of the atom of a chemical element the form of a chemical element existing in a free state the simple substance diamond graphite and coal for example are composed of atom of the element car carbon but differ in their compositions of the of an atom of the element of the oxygen but have different molecular structures there properties friends this substance word it has originated from the latin word substantia it and which was translation of the greek word essence substance it means the essence and in latin to describe the essence of using the word essentia in ancient philosophy the in ancient philosophy the substance is treated as a substrate substrate means the base adhar and it it was the fire it was the water and the things that was the herculean herculean star different concepts about the substance was there and still we are talking about we are having the different the first view is connected with the ontological understanding of substance as ultimate base basis being and the second point our view is an epistemological understanding of the concept its capability and the need for scientific knowledge there are the different concepts different philosophers are there francis bacon benedict sponja godfrey wilhelm ledbet and john locke and david hume they are the different philosophers and they have came up with the different concept about the uh, about the substance uh, nature and of the substance causa su unity and subject and object central category of metaphysics in philosophy substance is identified as with the god and with nature and determined as the cause of itself the main characteristics of a substance are thinking and stretch this was that predicted by the benedict app then by analogy with the philosophy of benedict spinoza substance considered in the light of the concept of rene descartes and the levy atoms are simple beings who lose their stretch but receives attribute aspirations and multiplicity analogy of experience immanuel kant the great philosopher believed that the law under which any changes in the substance or event a uh, substance of event and the number stored in the nature remains the same can be attributed to the analogy of the experience then author is present substance david hume mat matter a fiction the coexistence property and george wilhelm frederick hayes defined substance as a integrated next things a major steps to the development of the will substance is, is a key concept of ontology and metaphysics which may be classified according to many substance or individual and this has been grouped into the two type the monadic the single and the dualist the two two, two or more and that is the two or more dualist so two philosophy the whole of the substance philosophy is divided into the two the monadic and the dualist or plural plural uh, according to the monadic view such as dort of stonic and spinoza there is one substance one substance numa or god respectively these mode of thinking sometimes associated with the idea of immanence only one thing no two dualism sees the world as being composed of two fundamental substance for example the cartesian substance dualism of mind and matter 
Pluralism philosophy includes Plato theory of form and form and Aristotle hylomorphic category. Ancient Greek philosophers, a substance that which is uh, called a substance more strictly, primarily, and most of all is that which is neither set of a subject nor a subject of the individual man or the individual horse. Arist now this is the category of substance uh, by the Aristotle. Use the term a secondary sense of for genera and species understood as hylomorphic form primarily used with the regard to the category of the substance. And Plato and later Neoplatonism spoke of the objective reality of the things or its inner reality. And Spinoza argued that God is the only substance. And according to Spinoza, substance is one and indivisible. It cannot be divided, but has multiple modes, which we ordinarily call the nature, natural world, together with the all individual in its immanence to God. Hence, the famous phrase, Dive Moto, God, or the Roman Catholic Church reconciled the scholar, scholar substance theory with the doctrine, with its doctrine. Descartes, by substance means that by which we can understand nothing else than an entity which is in such a way that it needs no other entity in order to be the final. You cannot explain, go beyond that. Therefore, only God, God is the substance as ends perfectly, most perfect being. Bare particles, particular. In substance theory, a bare particular of an object is the element without which the object would not exist. Now, we are coming to the materialistic side. And here it says that it cannot exist without something there, substance, which exists independent from its properties, even if it is physically impossible for the lack of properties. It is bare because it is considered without its property and particular because it is not abstract. Inherence. In another primitive concept in substance theory is the inherence of property within a substance. For example, in a sentence, apple is red. Substance theory says that red inheres, inheres in the, so red is the substance, inheres in the apple. Substance theory takes the meaning of an apple having the property of redness to be understood and likewise that the property inheres in substance which is similar to but not in identical with being part which, uh, uh, of which so various schools of philosophy are there now. There are the materialistic school, there are the idealistic school, and there are the substantialistic school. This, and that's why we have the variations. That's why we have the diff different concepts about it. Materialism says doctrine, facts of experience are all to be explained by reference to the reality, activities, and law of physical and the material substance. Materialism. elements and their motions. Then capital is money. Capital is commodity by virtue of its value. It has acquired the occult ability to add value to it. It brings forth living offspring or at the least late golden age. Karl Marx philosophy is there. And this is the materialistic view. Ideally, that system of reflective thinking which would interpret and explain the whole universe. Things and mind and their relations and the realization of the system of idea. It takes various forms as determined by the view of what the idea or idea, ideal is and how we become aware of it. <laughs> Ideally, a man cannot lay down the right of registering them 
that assert him by force to take away his life. This is ideally homosops, substantialism. Now, the doctrine that substantialism existence or real being are the sources of underlying ground of all phenomena, mental and material, especially the doctrine which denies that the conception of material substance can be resolved into mere center force. The predominant thought of substantialism is that all things in nature which exist or can form the basis of a concept are really substantial entities, whether they are so-called principle or force of nature or the anatom, atom of corporeal body, even extending to the life and mental power of every sentiment organism from the highest to the lowest. Hal experimentally established the fact that sound consists of, therefore, the substantial energy uh, 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 air or order. He argued if sound can be proved to be a substance, there cannot be the shadow of scientific uh, objections raised against substantial or enunciative nature of the life and the mental power. From this point of view, mind is the real in the existence and in the physical brain, which is regarded as tangible manifestation of the form and substance of its invisible counterpart. From nothing to nothing, from nothing, nothing comes. Every effect proceeds from cause. Cause effect follows the cause in unbroken succession. No substantial effect can be produced upon any subject without an absolute substance of such kind of connecting the cause and the effect. This is very important in understanding. Without cause, without effect, no, no effect is there. So essence and the substance, what we call the essence, we talk about the essence of the Maitreya Medica, our medicines. We talk about the essence of the life. We talk about the essence of the disease. So we, this is the essence. It is, it, is, it is the things which is invisible. And this was the concept Dr. Kent had wanted to convey to us. Gravity, or that which property gravitation is a substance, since it acts upon the physical uh, object of at a substance uh, dimensions and uh, cause substantial physical effect. Magnetism is a substance, since it passes through the impurest bodies, seizes upon and moves iron. Sound is a substance since it is conveyed to space by air waves. It must be something substantial or it could not be conveyed. Light, heat, electricity, substance, they may be identical. It is absurd to call them the mode of motion or vibratory phenomena. These aspects are very important understanding where to understand our homeopathic medicines to how it works. That if you talk in the different, in those terms, you cannot explain our homeopathy. Uh, but when you talk, uh, start talking in the term of the sub, this substantial aspect, you will be able to understand the substance, nature of the substance. Motion is a non-entity. The mere act of a thing is changing its position in a space. And motion is nothing before an object before it begins to move and nothing after it has ceased to move. So motion is nothing. It is, it, is, it is associated. Modern science teaches that light and heat are motions or vibrations uh, of, of the ether. Physical science teaches us that ether is substantial, has measured, uh, has measured uh, it, has calculated its inertia coefficient, coefficient and the kinetic energy has pro pro pronounced. It is the primary substance which matters as well as heat, light, electricity, it's composed. Physical science does not tell us who or what moves the ether and determines the rate of vibration. Substantial substance teaches us that light is a substance having the quality of real energy being by its agency alone, organized living consciousness, thinking, willing entities are created, maintained, and reproduced. Hence, life is intelligent, else, else it could not manifest this quality. 
mind is a substance since it acts to think or produce thought and the uh, things mind therefore has the intelligence thought the action the mind may be called a mode of motion uh, of mind acting upon the molecule of the brain in analysis uh, life and mind are one and identical since they have identical qualities and attributes and mind life is spirit is the primary cause of motion life is energy and all energy is living energy so within every individual living creature there exists a vital and mental organism the invisible counterpart of the physical structure and the source of all vital and physiological phenomena they are uh, they constitute the living creature hanuman has been assigned to the uh, idealistic now the world is talking about him to be the most idealistic person uh, idealistic uh, it is a satire in the satirical term that he uh, the things the thought of dr hanot hanuman cannot be reached in an attempt to be more definite he has been called the vitalist referring to the prominence given to the organon to the doctrine of the life and the vital force hanuman position in regard to the deity to life mind vital force matter potentization and dynamization in infinite infinitesimal and the emphasis upon the substantial character of these to him great reality do not fully agree with other classification other than the substantially whatever thoughts are there of the animal it has it it, it, it comes under the substantially animal constant appeal to experience to fact of observations and experiment and to the necessity in medicine accepted the fact of existence of uh, as he saw them he was of the view of using the spirit and matter force and motion and mind and body else and disease in all their mutations and modification coexistence coexistence as fact of observation consciousness and experience in a logical and practical manner the inductive philosophy of lord bacon is shown in hanuman's writing hanuman was uh, he never mentioned dr hanuman never mentioned or quoted bacon in his writing but the applications of bacon principle to the studying nat natural phenomena can be found in hanuman uh, in his development of the homeopathy it is significant that hanuman in selecting the name for his magnum opus Uh, chose the very word organon used by bacon and before him by aristotle whose philosophical method misrepresented and misapplied by the schoolmen of the middle age bacon restored its true place with the improvement of his own and bacon's philosophy way of explaining way of thinking are of in the subject of the medicine are observed in hanumanian philosophy hanuman used the word immaterial vital principle in the healthy condition of man this is ninth volume the spiritual vital principle the dynamis that animates the material body rules with unbounded sway and retains all the part of the organism in admirable harmonious vital operation as regard both sensation and function so that our indwelling region gifted mind can freely employ this living healthy instrument for the higher purpose of our existence this is dr hanuman has mentioned in his organon of medicines in ninth volume there must exist in the medicines a healing principle the understanding has present pre, uh, pre, pre sentiment of the seventh section of the uh, first edition of organon of medicine hanuman perceived vital principle as immaterial it is prior to harmony harmony if provided by the vital principle in the in his work dr kent explains the swedenborgian theory that energy is based on the fourth state of matter called the simple substance this idea originated in the 18th century uh, uh, century 
when all form of energy were considered to have a subtle substance as their basis. This view was also reflected in the Newtonian philosophy that was permanent atoms responsible for all form of the energy. Kent believed that fourth state of matter acted as a precursor to the form of energy or force. He could not conceive the matter as being for considered energy because he could not imagine or that a force could come in force. Swedenborg taught that it is the fourth state of matter. There was no quality of simple substance, but only quality, no quantity, but only quality in degree of fineness. This is why Kentian homeopathic believes that there is no difference using one pill or 1000 pills of a higher potency. You give one dose, two dose, one globus, two globus, doesn't matter when you use the homeopathic medicine. So Kent felt that fineness of the, in the degree of the simple substance denotes the potency of the homeopathic medicine. And at the same time, he felt that simple substance has no quantity, so it is only the quality that matters. Hanneman taught that phenomena of aggravations was not only linked with the potency, but also with the number of the pills. But Dr. Kent uh, says that, you know, it is the uh, number of the pills is not so much important. All operations that is possible is due to the simple substance and by it, very universe is kept in order. Everything is in the harmony and is kept so by the simple substance. So cooperation is harmony effect. You know that the cooperation, it is the harmony. So there must be the harmony, perfect harmony among within the, and harmony is the life. Matter is subject to reduction and it can be continuously reduced until in the form of the simple substance, but it is not subject of risk. Decision. No substance can be returned to its ultimate form after it has been reduced to the primitive form. The simple substance may coexist as simple complex or the complex, simple compound or the complex. They never disturb harmony. They can do in any way. So there are many qualities of the simple substance. Substance. There are the formative intelligence. They have the capacity to overrule with intelligently. If, if you examine the very simplest form of living organism, we can understand it in a better way. Human body also has the degree of life substance existing in degree suitable uh, of all its utility the innermost degree, the outermost degree, and the continuity which is inter interconnect them. Everything in the universe has its aura or the atmosphere. Every star and planet, the sun and atmosphere, every human being has a atmosphere or the aura. This aura is present in all elements. The law of chemistry by analysis may be revealed to man that he can Detect all elements because they conduct themselves uniformly. Simple substance gives to uh, everything its own type uh, of the different distinct nature. So all disease causes are in sim simple substance. That is Dr. Kent has done. We potentize our medicines in order to arrive at their simple substance and nature and quality of its remedy itself. So this is the, well, this is the concept why we are potentizing the medicine. We see that all things made by man had decay and it can be in flux of the energy is there. So we did things, uh, uh, we see that all things made by man had, had decay and fall to pieces in time. But look at the things perpetuated of, from in flux, look at their order and harmony from the time to eternity working by the same plane in the same order. So this is the aspect of the simple substance that we have been uh, trying to understand. And let us have more thoughts on it so that we can have a better understanding of the, uh, better understanding about the uh, homeopathy. Only the confidence is more important and only you start thinking homeopathically. You, when you start thinking in a way the, to remain um, uh, uh, you can stay as a homeopath. Principle. So friends, with these words, I thank you all for my presentations. If you have any questions, you can write to me 
on my WhatsApp or you can email to me on my RIG ch at the rate of gmail.com because time is not enough for the discussions now because only four minutes is left. So we not, may, may not be able to uh, continue with the questions. Uh, so with this, uh, uh, I'm